We begin, we begin with coverage of Campaign 2020. Good to have you with us for Western Mass News 11 at 11. I'm Dave Matson, And I'm Beth Ward. We have team coverage on local and national races tonight as votes continue to come in. Sarah Grinelli and Audrey Russo are standing by as voters await tonight's results. Here is where we stand tonight. Moments ago, we've learned that Joe Biden has won Massachusetts, upsetting Senator Elizabeth Warren in her home state. It's been a big night for former President Joe Biden as he's been collecting up the southern states with wins in Virginia, North Carolina, Alabama, Tennessee, and Oklahoma. He wasn't even named in Massachusetts either. What a huge win. Biden also picking up Arkansas and Minnesota. Senator Bernie Sanders winning his home state of Vermont. He also has wins tonight in Colorado and Utah. Uh, Mike Bloomberg has won American Samoa. We're still awaiting results on three other states. Uh, Sanders addressing his supporters in Vermont within the last hour. But tonight, I tell you with absolute confidence, we are going to win the Democratic nomination. And we are going to defeat the most dangerous president in the history of this country. Some frightening moments this evening in Los Angeles. Watch right here as former Vice President Joe Biden addressing supporters, not one, but two protesters charging the stage during his speech. Uh, Biden was not hurt. The speech continued once the protesters were removed. Well, the big race locally tonight, of course, the Democratic primary as candidates work to face President Trump this November. And on the Republican side, President Trump, uh, of course, taking uh, his primary challenger, former Massachusetts Governor William Weld, by a huge margin. Well, Democratic voters in Springfield also keeping a close eye on the returns at a watch party tonight. Western Mass News reporter Audrey Russo joins us live from Christopher's Tavern with more. Audrey? Yeah, you can see that this watch party has thinned out a little bit as, of course, folks have to wake up and go to work tomorrow morning. There's only a few people left here watching these returns. And, of course, Massachusetts right now still considered a little too close to call, but Joe Biden has appeared to have taken a lead. There's around 50 percent of the precincts reporting that lead that Senator Sanders had last week appears to be split along progressive lines with Senator Elizabeth Warren. Now, the Springfield Democratic Committee tells me that there were supporters of all the candidates in the room tonight. The One voter tells me this is called a unity watch party because they say they're all going to come together and support the Democratic nominee, whoever that may be. Oh, of course. That's the only way we can uh, take back uh, 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. Uh, so tonight we'll tell the story. Now, City Councilor Jesse Letterman, who recently publicly endorsed Senator Bernie Sanders, responded to tonight's turn of events as they're still coming in. This is the electoral process at work. You know, one day you're down and out, the next day uh, you're back in. So I think we're going to have to see and wait until all the votes are counted. Uh, but I do think that we are seeing, uh, you know, a couple of things that people might not have expected just last week. And now, according to the city of Springfield, there was around 19 percent voter turnout. All the precincts are reporting now. Many of those city voters cast their ballots for Biden, the former vice president, earning roughly 38 percent of the vote here in Springfield. Now, Senator Sanders came in second in Springfield and Warren was a distant third. Live in Springfield, Audrey Russo for Western Mass News. Audrey, thank you. Supporters here locally rallied behind Senator Elizabeth Warren in Western Mass earlier today. Our team coverage continues with Western Mass News reporter Sarah Grinelli. She's live in Florence with the sentiment of voters there. Sarah? Beth, Dave, many voters I've spoken with tonight are voting for Senator Elizabeth Warren. However, as the votes continue to trickle in tonight, it doesn't seem like she's going to win. Now, according to the most recent polling, Biden is leading the pack, following by Sanders and then Warren. The senator made her final push in her hometown of Cambridge earlier today. This evening, she remained positive with voters in Michigan. Warren and I'm the woman who's going to beat Donald Trump. <laughs> 
earlier today, Warren also said she and her husband have been voting in Cambridge for 25 years. Now, voting is still being counted about across the state. About 51 percent of the votes are in. But we will keep you updated on air and online for the latest on the election. Live in Northampton tonight, Sarah Grinelli, Western Mass News.